Bob here. Uh, I'm going to be doing a multi-part series on setting up a uh, inventory system for an RPG game. Uh, this has been a really common request in the comments um, on the Unity related videos, so I thought this would be a fun one to go through. Um, <clears throat> I don't know how uh, how many videos it's going to take. I think um, generally inventory systems are pretty complex, um, but I think it'll be a fun one to go through. So um, yeah, if you're interested in that, um, you're in the right place. And one thing I've noticed too from uh, other videos that I've posted is uh, some of them can be really hard to follow without having the actual files for the game. So uh, what I'll be doing is just sharing a repo for all the code and I'll be making commits as I, as I go through each step, probably even multiple commits per video. Um, just so that it's easy to pull the code down and run it yourself and see how things work. And if you want to go back and step through the whole process, you can start with the first commit um, and then uh, just step forward through that. Um, yeah, depending on how uh, familiar everybody is with um, using Git and version control too, I may end up doing a video just on how to kind of explore the project using Git. Uh, but since this is the first video, that shouldn't be too much of an issue here. Um, so the way I want to set this up is I want to base it off of another game. So uh, you might be familiar with the Elder Scrolls games. This is um, a modded version of Skyrim. Uh, one of the big complaints in Skyrim and generally in the Elder Scrolls games is <clears throat> they're really heavily reliant on the menu systems. And uh, while the menu systems are pretty good, like, I mean, this, this game, Skyrim, has been out for, I think, 10 years now. Uh, it can get a little cumbersome sometimes, and it's nice to be able to um, have some additional controls that aren't there by default in the game. So modders have done a really awesome job with just coming back through and setting up these systems in a really nice way where, um, you know, you have icons to show you quickly which kind of item it is. So like for these are, uh, this is looking at a weapons list. So just really quickly from looking at the icons here, you can tell what kind of item or what kind of weapon you're dealing with, like bows and uh, axes and swords and maces. And then, and then uh, in addition to that, we've got, you know, sortable columns. So we have like, you can sort by name, um, the actual type is written out over here, so if it's not clear from the icon, uh, that'll explain it to you. And then there's just different sortable columns for other um, information that you would want to sort on, like if you're <clears throat> if you're interested in seeing what all seeing all the weapons of one type together, uh, you could sort by the material here. So that's just all ebony weapons, and uh, similarly you can sort by like damage, weight, value. So those are all things that you use a lot in the game. So it, it really is a nice UI improvement to be able to do all that. And then with this type of menu, um, um, in case it's not clear, if you're not familiar with it, um, what this is going to do is uh, at the top here, there's different categories. Um, I think this is probably all items, um, weapons, I guess, like uh, projectiles, like arrows and stuff like that. Uh, armor, uh, I'm guessing that's like accessories or something, food. Uh, Maybe that's like miscellaneous or money. I'm not really sure. Um, so, you know, there's a way to filter through all these, all the different like major types of um, items in the game. And then within each of those, you get this nice um, kind of like table view. And as you highlight those items, um, so for example, here you can see um, this ornate mall's got a little bit of a highlight effect going on. Uh, it'll just load that up over here on the right and you get a little bit of a description and a preview and uh, some stats about it and um, this is a crafting menu so it's showing like what's required to craft it so I don't know if I'll get um, this is pretty a pretty complicated UI so I don't know if I'll get this in depth in it but this is kind of the general uh, approach that I'm taking and uh, it should be fairly adaptable to other kinds of menus as well um, just because it's a um, presented this way doesn't mean you couldn't use like similar techniques for doing more of a, uh, uh, you know, visual inventory where you just have little icons for each item or something. So I think a lot of those techniques should be transferable. So, uh, yeah, that's the plan for the video. Um, 
that's that's what I'll be going through. And um, like I said, this will be a mini part series. So um, if you have questions or comments as we're going through the different stages of this, please leave them because that'll help me um, figure out like how to adjust uh, the future videos in the series as I go. Um, so yeah, looking forward to doing this with you. And uh, I think it'll be a lot of fun. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.